Alrighty, hi everyone. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. I am at pattern-collections.com on the website. There is no app. Don't ask me about the app. There is no app. I'm going to scroll down here because, let's see, I want to go to the home page and remind you because it's Monday. I'm going to remind you about the button here for PayPal. Um, you can make a donation to help keep this website running uh, absolutely advertiser free by making a donation. Five, 10, 20, another amount. You only have a dollar, put a dollar. You have a hundred dollars. That would be awesome. Um, you can make it a monthly donation or pay with PayPal or a credit card. Um, I am not affiliated with this. I don't get any money for it. I just want to let you know that um, if I scroll all the way down here to the bottom, can you see we the this website has has now over eight million views, which is awesome. But each one of those views costs money, and even if the money is only pennies, it adds up when you get to the eight million. Okay, so um, I'm just helping Ina out by suggesting that you guys make a little donation. If you can't afford it, that's cool. I know that many months I can't afford it. So anyways, we're gonna go here to Pattern Focus. Let me, let me do that again so you are, you are aware of what I'm doing. At the home page, Pattern Focus is where we're going to go to find the pattern we're looking for today. And am I doing patterns for May? Yes, I am. Are you seeing them in July? Yes, you are. That's how it goes. Um, so we've already done making a flower. So two weeks ago, we made a flower out of folk flower leaf fan and quirly. If you didn't see that one, it is, let me grab it. This one. You want to see how I did that? Go back a couple weeks. Then uh, th last week we did a mandala and we used cycle, uh, mashuga, and zero in. And if you want to see that one, there we go. Go back, go back to last week. So this week we're gonna. Our challenge is: Can you find ways to use? these patterns together in one grid creation. So I want to combine three of these patterns into one grid creation. So I went through and I looked at them all. This one here, this wavy corner, I think I want to do on its own. It looks really cool. Um, I need to make a note of that. But um, I couldn't figure out how I would combine it with something else. So I want to try that on its own. Um, but what I want to put in here to combine together is this BB squared flight and pod box. Um, but I don't want to start with BB squared. I'm going to start with flight. That was my plan. So... I'm going to put this one in the middle. I'll show you in a second. But here is the one called Flight. It's very simple. Shouldn't take too long to do. But we're going to, inside our box, we're going to put a dot. At that dot, we're going to do this rice shape toward the middle. Basically, you're, it, it kind of makes it a flower of life. But then, behind that, you're going to do it again in the background. So see how it makes a circle here? And then when you get four of them together, it also makes a circle here. That's the flower of life pattern. So then the, uh, that's all you do is those rice shapes, these rice shapes, and then you can do these uh, little lines thusly. Or you can make a variation by uh, doing whatever you want here in the background. You can color it in, whatever. 
that is what we are aiming for that one right there and I'm going to do the four squares just like that and so what I think I'm going to do let me show you real quick on just a turn on my light close your eyes in case it gets really bright too fast okay uh, here's a just a, a scratch pad um, and a pencil and what I think I'm going to do is on my square I'm going to create a grid and in the middle I'm going to put this pattern right here and then on this layer I'm going to put the next pattern and on the outer layer I'm going to put um, the final pattern that is how I think I'm going to do it and I hadn't decided yet if the final pattern is going to go this way or if I'm going to put it like that diamond Lee if that makes any sense that I haven't decided yet but for sure I'm gonna do those like this so I need to plan out my page I don't always plan out my page ahead of time but I have to do that this time so what I'm gonna do is quickly with my where'd my where'd it go hello oh there it is my mechanical pencil love this for drawing um, this particular one is a zebra brand number 301 I don't know if you can see that but I really like it it draws just a really nice light line it has a 0.5 millimeter lead awesome so what I'm gonna do first thing is I'm gonna find the middle of this page this particular piece of paper happens to be approximately five and a half by five and a half square so we're gonna find the middle and that's easily done by just putting your straight edge corner to corner and wherever that meets that is the exact middle of your page of course I could have just measured out that that's where the middle is because it's five and a half by five and a half silly me let's let's do it this way I don't need that yeah your big silliness hello let's just mark every half inch going across and on this side that'll give me just something to line up with And then the other direction. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're well. I'm doing all right. Uh, lots of changes at work. Very stressful. Changes are stressful. But, you know, things are what they are no need to worry about something I can't do anything about right so I'm just gonna mark these spots so that I can make an even grid all the way around You know what I just did that I shouldn't have done? I do want this in the middle. I want that on a line. Hello. That didn't work. Let me try again because I forgot I need a border. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a border. I need a half inch border. I mean a quarter inch border all the way around. So I need to first do that on all my sides so that my inside piece is five inches by five inches not five and a half by five and a half right right that's what I need to do <coughs> of 
quarter inch approximately this is always the boring part if you want to fast forward through this part I don't blame you go right ahead probably should have just done this off screen however I like to show all the steps <clears throat> some people have said well why don't you fast forward or skip parts and the reason I don't is because I think you guys really need to see all the steps is that five inches by five inches pretty close now I can do every half inch hopefully that will give me a box right in the middle I hope your guys's weather ours is still well of course I'm drawing this in what is this I'm at the end of April right no I'm at the end of May wow golly gee I'm at the end of May not the end of April and we're still we're still getting some cool weather, which is kind of surprising for our area. And today is not going to be overly warm. Right now, when I came out here to my studio, it was only 63 degrees and 10 o'clock in the morning, which is unusual. And then um, it's windy. So there's that. I'll turn this around. Hopefully I'm close here. And I came out here and I was gonna get started drawing and of course I got all distracted, went down a rabbit hole, started thinking about things. I don't know. Okay, <clears throat> now. Go the other way. You guys know I don't always measure out my grids. Most of the time, I just kind of freehand it. But for this particular one, since we're doing three different grid uh, patterns, I wanted to make sure that I was actually doing a nice even grid. It doesn't look straight. Why doesn't that look straight? It should be straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Close enough. See, I say I want to do it nice and even, and, and then when it's not quite right, I say close enough. That's kind of the way my brain works. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I work. I work very weird.
One more. Sorry, I get really quiet when I have to think. This is taking brain power that I don't have. Okay. There we go. Now I got myself a nice grid. You could have fast forwarded through that. I hope you did. And then what I want to do is find the middle one. Where is the middle one? So I do want the middle, probably that one. Yeah, okay. So I want this portion right here for that first pattern. Do I want just that little bit or do I want to go the next row over? That's the question. Because if I do the next row over, what will I have left? I will have two rows. Yes, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so I want to actually go that big. Oop. Let's go square, not rectangular. Okay, so that's where I want to have my pattern there. And then I'll have two rows for the next pattern and one last row for that last pattern. So that's, that I think is where I'm going to go. So let's grab our pen and turn on this so I remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing kind of like Flower of Life. Um, small pen, this one. Okay, so the, the step out shows us putting a dot in the middle. You don't really have to have one there, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it just to remind me what I'm doing. And that I'm going only in these squares. And I'm going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to draw, I don't know, do I want to draw the actual grid? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. I'm going to follow the exact pattern, which is fine. That's that. That. Just like that. And then sometimes I'm not very good at following the pencil line. I'm trying my best today to stay on my line. Not always easy for me. Okay, so now we're going to do these rice shapes toward the middle from the corners. So the easiest way for me to do it is going to be to do them all going one direction first. And then do them the other direction. This really can get you into a nice flow and rhythm. Make it easy to draw. You don't have to think once you get started. You just go. Ugh. I'm holding my pen too tight. Don't hold your pen too tight. That gives you hand cramps. Relax. That tends to happen to me when I first start drawing first drawing of the day, I do tend to be really tense. So you need to, to relax your hand. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to smile. If you smile before you start, you start out in a happier frame of mind, which is really weird. Um, I didn't used to do that step. But it really does help. OK, 
Okay, so now let's go the other way. Okay, so if you stopped after this step, you would have the pattern called Flower of Life. F-O-F. F-O-F? That doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Flower of Life, not F-O-F. It should be F-O-L. Why do I want to say F-O-F? Is there a pattern called F-O-F? Maybe. Did you see that that one didn't quite met, make it to the center? It's okay. I didn't stress over it. I just kept going. Okay, so that is Flower of Life or Bales. I think that's what they're called. Let me, let me look that up. Maybe. Of life. Flower of life. It basically is, except for flower of life, can you see that has you doing the, the rice shapes going downward instead of at a diagonal? But it comes out the same. See that shape where it's got the circles around it? That's, that's still the same. It's just going sideways. But see, there's that circle shape. Okay, so now we're going to go this way and make that come here and there, like so. Okay. getting hungry. My tummy just growled. Okay, now I'm going to turn it. I'm going to do that same thing again. It's just easier for me to do it all at the same angle. Remember, you're trying to aim for that point here. So that they line up.
Okay. Next. Turn and go. This is very small. Um, normally I would make this in a bigger grid. I would have made it in a, oh, I could have, oh goodness, I could have made it in a nice big grid. Oh well, too late now, I made it tiny. You know, when I do this one, I might make these in the, f in the four square. I'll have to see if that comes out right. One, two, three, four. Oh, it does. Okay. So on the next one, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger of a um, scale. Just to make it easier to draw. This little half inch scale is very tiny. Which makes it a little bit more challenging to draw. Almost done. Okay, one more. And I think rather than trying to fill in this little bits with with lines because I've made it so small. I think I'm going to color in the background with the black so that you really see this pattern stick out. I don't know that you can really see it well because it's all jumbled up. There's a lot of lines happening here. like so okay so far so good I like that I think I made it really tiny, like really tiny. Um, but I do think I'm going to just take a ne my next size up pen, which is an 05 instead of an 02. And I think I'm just going to color in these bits. Doesn't take much because they're such small little spaces. Let's start at the edge and work our way inward. I may only color the outside ones and leave the inside ones. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to start outward and work my way toward the middle and then decide what I want to do.
Shall I do a pick question from the book? I think I should. Let's see, where were we? That's an inappropriate question. Not going to answer it. Um, next question. If you could be a guest on any television talk show, what would it be? Ooh, I don't know of a lot of television talk shows. Um, goodness sakes. Um, well, what are the first shows that popped into my head? The first shows that popped into my head were Oprah and Ellen. I don't know. I would suspect that Oprah would be the one that. Is there a talk show that has to do with art? I don't know. Can I look it up? TV talk shows art. Let's see what Google says. A talk show about art. July of 2014, Ovation TV launched a talk show about art called Touching the Art. Interesting. Oh, sorry. I thought I was going to capture. Sorry about that. I felt it coming, but I wasn't sure I could covered up my microphone soon enough. Touching the art. The first all-female, all-art talk show. Premiered on Ovation TV in July of 2014. Late night talk show art, fine art America. Interesting. Okay. Well, that gives me something new to watch. <clears throat> then that would be the one I would want to be on. Didn't know it would existed. Something new. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever watched that show. Um, I don't have, um, <clears throat> I don't watch regular television. I don't watch regular cable TV. I don't pay for subscriptions to television. So um, there's a lot of TV out there that I've never heard of or seen before. Um, 2014 was quite some time ago. You'd think that I would have heard about it by now, but, you know, I'm lucky I've even ever heard of Ovation TV in and of itself as a channel, much less watched anything on it. So, but I will have to look that up. That sounds like fun. Give me something new to watch. What's happening when I fill in all of that? I'm getting rid of those cross pieces and I think I see the pattern better that way. I really like that. I think I'm going to do that the whole way. Wasn't sure I was going to, but I think I think maybe. Oh, I've already gone into ugh. 
Okay. Well, now I am. Now I'm committed. Let's go this way. That sneeze made me have a little bit of a runny nose. I'm sorry if I become snuffly. Allergies are just a thing. When you have them, you just have to live with them. Take medications to reduce your symptoms, but they don't go away. You just have to live with the runny nose and the sneezing for your whole life. And it can be quite annoying. Okay, next question. If you were suddenly naked in front of everyone at work, what would you say to them? Well, I wouldn't suddenly be naked in front of everyone at work. So that's not a question that would be appropriate. I'm not too sure why I read it out loud, because I just wasn't reading ahead, that's all. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. Okay, um... Next question. Let me read it this time. If you could only keep only one thing that is in your bathroom right now as the only thing in there forever, what would you save? Uh, I think I would save my medicated shampoo. Absolutely critical. I could wash my hair with it. I could wash my body with it if I had to. I occasionally use it on my face already anyways because the medicated properties of it um, help with whatever is going on on my eyebrows. I have the same sort of situation on my eyebrows that I do on the top of my head. So I use it on my face. So that is a like a critical piece of my bathroom. I would be very sad if I also lost the toilet paper. One thing? Oh, yeah, oh, oh, the toilet paper. Didn't think about the toilet paper. That would be also very critical. Ooh, what, 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 what one could I live without? I guess I could live without the medicated shampoo. I could not live without the toilet paper. Okay, I'm going back on my, on my thing. Toilet paper. Kind of like when everybody was panic buying toilet paper. Toilet paper is a thing that... Although it's not a thing in every part of the world. So, you know, it's not necessarily a 100% necessity. But it's pretty darn close. And I could use the toilet paper to blow my nose for my allergies. Also a good thing.
hope you guys are still with me. Struggling along here. Sometimes these patterns, especially when I color them in like this, it the video ended up really long, and I'm sorry about that. You could skip forward. I don't mind. I know most of my videos are very long videos, uh, 30, 40 minutes, uh, sometimes longer. And my average view time is only like nine minutes. So you guys are skipping through, which is cool. I have no problem with that at all. And if you want to watch it, but you don't want to skip through it, but you also want it to not be so long, you can go down to the little box at the bottom of the screen. On, I know on the le on my desktop, I think it's over in this corner. Um, and you can use the little gear and you can just speed me up. I'll sound like I'm talking like a chipmunk, but you'll be able to watch it all in a little bit faster. I think I'm going to leave that middle part. Let's leave that middle part and let's let's shade that middle part instead. Okay, just a teensy tiny bit. And I'm not sure that my blending stump is going to be small enough for that. Yeah, I guess it is. Just the s tiniest amount of shading. Like that. I think that's good. Okay, I'm I'm happy with how that turned out. Uh, I'm going to assign it way over here. I'm going to put the name. This one was what was it? This one. Flight. F L Y T E. That's the first one. Okay, so the first one's name is Flight. Should I use? You can see now how, how teeny tiny it actually is when I zoom all the way out to the full tile. That that was that was that was teeny tiny. Um, I think for the thumbnail for the video though, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in. There we go. That's good. All right. So you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video, which will be uh, da, 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 BB squared. And um, yeah, you guys have a great day. Do something nice for someone today. Let's make the world a better place. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.